Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about how the North-South uh, Korea family reunions have come to an end. Um, this has mostly been families that have been separated by um, the Korean War. For example, a 92-year-old South Korean mother uh, recently had met with her 71-year-old North Korean son um, for the first time um, in around over 60 years. And that is a remarkable thing. Overall, I support these family reunions. Um, and But the thing is, the families only had 11 hours together um, to spend together where they could talk. Um, and the family reunions took place in North Korea at the Mount Kumgong Resort. And overall, I'm okay with it. But the thing is, a lot of times the North Korean government um, will um, have their people praise the Kim Jong-un regime and to criticize South Korea and to talk about how great their life is in North Korea, which it's usually not. Um, uh, but North Korea will also pick the most loyal people from the Kim Jong Un regime to Kim Jong Un, um, and whereas South Korea tells the people don't criticize North Korea's regime, don't say anything hostile about the North Korean government. The North Korean government encourages it, its citizens to say things bad about the South Korean government. So it's double standard. But overall, I mean, these were families that have been separated for over 60 years. I'm glad they get to see each other. I'm glad they get to be reunited, even if it's just for a few hours. Um, South Korea selected uh, 89 people. Um, I believe the North selected around, I think, 65. But I'm not exactly sure how many the North selected. I know South Korea selected 89 people, but the, the family reunions have recently come in and um, pray that these family reunions can continue because um, a lot of times, these families that were separated by the Korean War, they thought they were only going to be separated for a matter of months, but they turned out to be separated for over 60 years. So anyways, hope I was doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.